Hey there everyone, it's Mouse Plays. Welcome to another Minecraft tutorial. Today I'm going to show you a very easy starter tileable sugarcane farm. So basically we're just going to be going through a quick way to make a sugarcane farm. I'm going to build it and then I'm also going to show you a very complex one that has 15 tiles and then we're going to do an AFK test. So let's go ahead and start out with the first items. To build your sugarcane farm, this is what you will need. These items at the top are required for each and every tile. The items here on the bottom are required if for the bookends, so you will need these to end your tile. Right over here we have what will be required overall in your farm. So two chests, a hopper, minecart mine with hopper, and depending on how long your track is, you're gonna need a redstone torch, or torches, depending on how long it is. So let's go ahead and build up this farm. So first we're gonna be starting off by building a three long, two deep hole, like so. One, two, three, four, five, six, just like that. We're going to place down our chests at the front of the hole. So this, where you place your chest, is where the front of your farm is going to be. So one, two, there's our chest. Grab your hopper, go behind, shift, and right click so that this hopper, as you can see, takes stuff into this chest. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to place down your rails, like so. So now you have rails facing both walls so that you don't have to worry about the minecart coming off. Then place down your minecart with hopper on top of that. This is your collection system for your sugarcane. So whenever a sugarcane is broken, it'll fall into here and go into the chest for you to collect later. Now we get to build the actual farm on top of it. First, what you're going to want to do is take a piece of dirt, put it over. Now you're gonna have some temporary blocks, so just put it right over top. If you need some, just go right next to it and grab a piece of dirt. You can also do this with sand. So place one dirt over, and then what you're gonna wanna do is place temporary blocks on the outside, facing forward. You're gonna wanna grab your glass and build up one, two, three, and then if you're on the ends, you're going to have to book up the ends with the same amount of glass. And just like that, go back down, remove your temporary blocks, place down one temporary block at the top, place your observer, break that block, then go one back, so place it behind, one down, and try and line up your piston like so. You can break the glass to make that easier. Break these two blocks. This is what your farm should look like right at this point. Now, you're going to create a kind of concave setup. So one, two, three, with your building blocks. There will be no redstone in this part. It's just so that we can get the water down here. So one, two, three. And to bookend, one, two. You have to bookend. Now to place down your water, remove this pop, grab your bucket, place the water inside, put your building black back on top. Now we have this. Use your temporary blocks to go back to the top, place down your sugar cane inside, and cover up like so. Go back down to the bottom, and you now have a fully functional sugarcane farm. Oh, one more I forgot. Make sure to put your redstone right there. And just like that, you have a fully functional sugarcane farm. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you a 15 block setup, which is much more efficient than this one tile setup. Here we have our 15 block long setup. So as you can see, bookends on both sides. So we bookend and then there's our setup like that. Our two pistons and our observers on each block. 
the redstone behind. And then down below, our chest system. I don't know why there's a piece of kelp in there. But just like that, you have your sugarcane farm. And this is a very efficient way in the early game. It can get a little expensive, but if you have enough iron, especially with fortune and the raw iron being added to the game, you should be able to very easily make this setup. Now, you may hear a minecart moving, and that's because if we go below, you can see that there is a minecart running through here. But to run that, you need redstone torches. So that's where the torches come in. Let me see if I... There we go. You're going to need to place these at even intervals or however you want to get every single powered rail running. The reason I like to use powered rails for the whole thing is just because it's super reliable and it ensures that your cart will be moving the entire way along and never stopping. And that's basically it for the tutorial. I just wanted to show you this easy setup. And now we're going to go ahead and AFK both of these farms so that I can show you how it works. So let's go ahead and do that. So it has been 30 minutes, so all the totals will be get multiplied by 2 to get to an hour. But before I tell you the results, please be sure to go ahead and subscribe to this channel so that you can learn more Minecraft tutorials and farms and all this fun stuff for more content just like that. Now let's go ahead and reveal the results. So going ahead and calculating the results, the single tile version only got two and a half hour, which would be four in the full hour, and the 15 tiled version got 22 in the half hour, which would be 44 in the full hour. So yeah, it's pretty good of a sugarcane farm if you tile it up a lot. So yeah, that's been this video. I hope you have enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Bye!